these I'm not so sure how they're gonna look so we'll just we'll just see mm, I can see on the bottom that they're kind of unusual looking I don't know we'll go ahead yeah totally didn't come out the way I planned I like the glitter around the edge. This one had the most resin in it, so I guess that explains why this is a bigger spot in the middle. I don't know. Huh. Didn't do what I wanted at all either. A little disappointed. These are pretty on the up uh, the top side. The shimmer is really pretty. And I don't know why these didn't really do much of anything. Okay, so I'm going to leave these as is and I'm going to add some embellishments in between some of the lines. <clears throat> this is heavily inspired by Leah Dia Designs. Uh, check out her, I will post a link to her YouTube channel. She's a fabulous uh, resin artist and teacher. She's very generous with her teaching and sharing on her resin coasters in Patreon and on YouTube and in the Facebook groups and so I am very enamored with her work. So uh, sh that was washi tape that I applied and I used an X-Acto knife. That's really the only way to go with cutting this kind of tape. I tried tearing it on the edges and you just it doesn't work that way so you need an X-Acto knife. Um, and what she typically uses and I used this time was PBO, PBO, CERN Relief Gold. It's kind of a thicker and I'm really not sure if it's acrylic based or oil based. Really in a different language so I can't really tell but I'm going to give it a few hours to dry. I typically would use acrylic Decard Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. I think it does really about the same effect. This is thicker and it does leave a little more of a raised effect even though you get a raised effect with this. It's just not as pronounced as this is. So I also have this in silver and pearl and so that's another option as well. I think these are pretty enough. I'm just going to leave them as is and uh, they were just kind of a an experiment and I kind of like the way they look right now so I'm gonna leave it that is um, I wanted to show you the products I used for this video 
of course medium viscosity artist resin from counterculture uh, this is their creme brulee glitter which as you can see when you put it in resin it really goes more yellow and uh, very sparkly but a little different from what you see in the bag so that's oftentimes can be an issue when you're adding stuff to resin it changes the color a little bit unfortunately but it's still pretty and uh, I used brown and black Bombay inks in the coasters I used Golden Beach and sepia and so I use Golden Beach as is and that is the pale gold look that you're seeing I used sepia and I added the brown to that which gives it almost a little bit of a light copper feel and I put the Bombay brown Bombay ink in that the this blackish color I just stuck my finger in the gold the blackish uh, color is anthracite and I added the black Bombay ink to that because I wanted it darker and uh, so you, it's not black but it's kind of a charcoal black and then for the white mixture I used angel wings which has a little bit of an iridescent cast and uh, maybe the purple or blue just very slightly. I, I love the effect it got with the other colors there. It just didn't show up in this one on this side. You know, you can see it on this side. That is really pretty. So I want these to be reversible. Um, so it's Angel Wings with a little bit of Armor White, Armor White pigment from Counterculture and Brie Reese White Alcohol Ink, or you could use Pinata Alcohol Ink, just White Alcohol Ink in general. Uh, so again, Sepia, Golden Beach, Anthracite, and Angel Wings were the mica powders. They all came from Funshine Color Shop, and I'll provide the Etsy link below the video. And I'm going to find some sparkle that I want to add that will um, enhance or provide some contrast. Okay, I may go with... Um, this this is from Target or Michaels and it's a unicorn party mix I think it was Target this is called World Tour Ultra Fine this is from Counterculture and it's a really fine pretty glitter that's kind of um, champagne rose goldish so I may mix these with a little varnish and just stick them in between the edges once the gold is dried. So we'll be back for that once it's dry. I'll be back. I used Joe Sonia's gloss varnish with that. Uh, again, Counterculture World Tour Ultra Fine Glitter and Unicorn Party Mix. I believe I got it at Target. And I'm going to let this dry for a few hours and then I'll put a, or even overnight, and then I'll do a flood coat on top of it.
Okay, so these have the flood coat and you can see that um, it's covered over all the ridges and the glitter and things that I've added to it. And these I've done, um, I'm adding the gold leafing pen, which is oil based by Krylon, 18 karat gold. It's a paint pen, you just shake it, depress it, and then you've got it coming out on the ends. I love the control of it. It is oil based, uh, so it's permanent. And if you are doing it and you kind of go over your edges or onto the clear or something, you can clean it up with alcohol right away or paint thinner or nail polish remover. So I'm just finishing up this last one on the edges. And you can't touch it for, you know, a little bit. You've got to let it dry. It dries pretty quickly for oil based, but you still need to give it its time to, uh, to set up good before you touch it. And um, I, I like to kind of go over the top edge on these just to let that gold kind of wander over on the top. It just kind of looks like they're gold dipped around the edges to me. I like that look. Not on all of my coasters that I do, but on these I, I like the look because they're very Art Deco, very flashy, blingy. So I thought it would be an extra touch that would be pretty. So this is my final touch. Now if you want to use silver, I have uh, th the links are always in my video description below the video, but if you like to use silver, the one that I use on that is not an, a Krylon pen. It is called Liquid Chrome, and it is literally very much like a mirror, mirror, you know, kind of reflection. So the, I have not found another silver that even compares to Liquid Chrome. That is also um, always in my Amazon recommendations link. If it's not pinned below the video, I didn't use it in this video, but it's always in my Amazon recommendations. If you just click on the links below the video, you can always find those lists. So I've done around the edges and a little bit up onto the top. So these are all good to go. And I'll show pictures out in the sunshine, which usually show the best results for you to see the shimmer and the sparkle so thank you for watching i hope you learned something and thank you uh, shout out to leah dia for her inspiration she is just a uber talented artist and the creations she makes are just beyond wonderful and uh, she is definitely one of my major uh, inspirations so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video Take care. Bye-bye.